You are the leaders of your cells. You are the leader of your cells. What does this even mean? And is this even possible? Are you sometimes frustrated with the never ending spiral of dead ends and conflicting information overload when it comes to how to really free yourself of maybe challenging health symptoms that you're facing or um, spiraling out of the mind and not sleeping well. There's various different ways that this can show up. And I'm here to remind you today that you are not a victim of the circumstances. You are not a victim of circumstance even outside of your control, nor are you a victim of the physical experience that you're having in your body. You have the opportunity right now, this moment, in every moment, to direct your cells into the wholeness and to unleash the vitality and energy and aliveness that is the intelligence inside of every one of your cells. You are a part of nature. You are a microcosm of the macrocosm of all of life, of all of creation, of all of the universe in every single cell of your body. Every cell of your body is like a seed, like a teeny tiny seed, like the, the tiny little acorn, small seed that grows and unfolds its intelligence into the massive oak tree, the intelligence that made your body, that started you from the union of two uh, little tiny, tiny little cells that formed a zygote that unfolded in your mother's womb, that miraculous process, that, that energy that unfolds life that allowed you to grow from being a tiny little infant to an adult and that continues to beat your heart every single day and allows the breath to flow through you and metabolize your food and energy and air and oxygen. That intelligence that created your body is the intelligence that heals the body. But what gets in the way of that? Why do we then experience ill health? Why do we then have challenges getting those last few pounds off that just don't come off no matter how hard we work out and no matter how good we eat? Why is it that we still have digestive problems and imbalances and bloating and pain even though we've tried every diet protocol and nutritional program on the market and it's still not working. Why is that? Well, there's a piece of this health puzzle that is missing out there in the majority of the holistic health world or even the wellness world, the fitness industry, it is missing. And this piece is also the piece that is responsible for your own self-sabotage when you go and try to make change in your life, to eat better, to drink more water, to work out, to build a business. Whatever change you're actually trying to make in your life is going to be completely impacted and controlled by this part of you that most people don't even realize is there affecting your health, affecting your relationships, affecting your work, affecting your financial ceiling, affecting all aspects of your potential growth and abilities. And this piece is your subconscious mind. It is the emotional body. You have a physical body and you have an energetic body. You have an emotional body. And this emotional body is the extension of your subconscious mind. So 95% of what you experience physically is an expression or an extension of the impatterned, imprinted thoughts, beliefs, feelings, emotional responses, past pains, traumas, whatever they may be, of your subconscious mind, creating physical experience. And so the reason why I come to you today 
with this message that you are the leaders of yourselves is that you and only you actually have the power to rewrite the programs in your subconscious mind, to rewire the inner mind, to rewire your nervous system, to completely transform and change your relationship with emotions and all of the things that were unconsciously programmed inside of you in the first seven years of life that caused you to expect and experience exactly what you are experiencing in all areas of your life today. And it is you and only you that has the power to reclaim the intelligence, the health and vitality that I spoke to in the beginning of this live stream. That intelligence is inside of you and people have, many of us forget that or don't believe that because we're experiencing something different. If you are experiencing something less than what you would love to be experiencing, it is only because there's a subconscious program or an emotional belief or a repressed emotion that is blocking your ability, your body's ability to unfold that health from within. And so, yes, there are ways to strategically do that, but any amount of health strategy will not work. Protocols will not work for you. Diets and restrictive programs and all of those things will not work unless your mind, your subconscious mind, the part that you're not aware of, the shadow, unless that part of you is on board with where you're really going then it will always seem to slip through your fingers. It will always elude you. So my name is Alicia Lynn Diaz. I'm the creator of the Enlightened Body System, Transformational Healer, and I have gone deep through that path that has allowed me to eradicate the pain, the emotional turmoil, the inner self-sabotage, that were, had set me up to be, basically to have a life sentence of pain and pharmaceuticals. And through the creation of the Enlightened Body System, which marries physical health, vitality, and wisdom, ancient wisdom, with this modern science of rewiring the nervous system and healing, rewiring the inner mind, all of those sync up and it has allowed me to free myself and gratefully thousands of others of people that I've gotten to share this work with over the years. And so I want you to know that you're not alone, that wherever you are in your journey, there is light, at, not only at the end of the tunnel, it is so much closer than you think. And if you would like to learn more about the Enlightened Body System, the programs, things like that, and get some trainings, some free trainings for me to explore that, please just comment in below and say, yes, enlightened body, or just yes. <laughs> or you can private message me if you'd like to explore those programs one-on-one -on -one and I can tell you more about them. But remember that you are the leader of yourselves. Please share this message or tag a friend in this post who needs this reminder. It is so important that we stop searching using Dr. Google as our primary go-to, right? Stop searching for all of these answers outside of ourselves in health and really all areas of life, but health particularly, and reclaim our power and learn the tools to finally embody the health and radiance and vitality that you deserve. So I hope that this was supportive for you today. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you on the next video.